So three weeks ago, I picked up the new Ray-Bans Meta Glasses. And they are now my daily glasses I wear whenever I leave the house. And while I wouldn't say 100% you should ever wear them in the rain, I can say that I wore them in light rain. And I'm talking about not like a drizzle. And they were fine. Now, heavy rain, I wouldn't get into that because... Not sure how waterproof they actually are. And, you know, you don't want to ruin your glasses. For example, a pair I have costs, I believe, like $700. So, once you start customizing it, you know, adding a prescription, it gets a little bit expensive. Nonetheless, though, overall-wise, they are my daily glasses when I leave the house. I don't have to wear AirPods. I don't have to bring headphones. I don't have to bring any of that kind of stuff. The built-in speakers sound absolutely amazing. As I said in my last review, and I'm kind of learning this more and more, just be careful when you wear them out in public, because if anyone is within, like, two or three feet of you, they can hear your music. So, like, if you're going out into a store, probably don't play your music from your glasses. Well, it's not going to be like, you know, someone across the store is going to hear your music. If someone is walking next to you, they're going to be able to hear your music. If you're waiting in line, someone's going to hear your music. And I can officially report battery life-wise. So if you guys don't know how they work, pretty much they have their own battery built in the glasses. Which is roughly depending on what you're utilizing them for. Can range from 30 minutes to 4 hours. Yeah, that's, it, it's a very depending on what you're using them for. If you're live streaming, that's going to go bye-bye. Um, video recording... For example, I went on a walk, right? And on my walk, I did a 30-minute walk. And I used... I video recorded and I also took pictures and listened to music. I lasted around 30 minutes before they were dead. Now, the good thing is you can go ahead and put them in the case, which charges them up and gets them back up to 100% very quickly. Once you get back to 100%, then you can start using them again and there's really no problem. But you're going to have that, you know... Very quick battery drain if you are using them for anything outside of listening to music. Um, I can officially say, though, that the battery, the case that you have them in, I, for the first time after three weeks, I had to charge it. I didn't have to charge it for three weeks. And I use these every single day for around an hour a day when I go out and do my activities and I come back home. I use them for an hour a day and... Using them out a day for three weeks, I finally had to charge it after three weeks. So that's just how good the battery bank is. Now, if you use it more often, if these are all day type of scenario, then yes, you're going to have to charge it more. But for a daily one hour use, three weeks is not a bad battery standby time, you know, for my case, how I have it set up, right? Now, here's the thing, right? Again, I do love them. But I cannot wear these every single second of the day. And maybe it's just how my glasses are. The glasses I normally wear. Because keep in mind these are prescription glasses. These are not just sunglasses. Or you know everyday lifestyle glasses. These are so I can actually see. Right. My problem is my face sweats way too much when I wear them. Because they are a little bulky. You know. The sides are a little bulky. The around your nose is a little bulky. And around your, the glasses are also a little bulky in general. So, I can't wear them every single second, which kind of does suck. But at the same time, you're not really supposed to. Because, again, like I said, the battery does drain kind of quickly, depending on what you're utilizing them for. So, if you're utilizing them every single second, use them every single second, you're going to drain the battery very quickly, and you're going to have to charge it. Now, if the battery goes down to zero, you can still use the glasses like normal glasses. You just can't listen to music or do anything like that. But at the same time, it is kind of a... It's a weird scenario for me, right? Because, like, I want to wear them every single second, but I've tried to, and it just... It, it's a mess. So, overall-wise, that's just, again, just a personal problem by myself. But as always, in these honest reviews, I'm going to give you guys every little detail that you might also experience if you do pick up the Ray-Bans Meta Glasses. I don't like to just give you the the uh, benefits and the positives because that's not helping you decide and make your choice on what you want to get, right? So, 
other than no small issues, I love them. I absolutely love them. I have no other problems with them. And yeah, I would 100% recommend them. Um, I have videos on the channel breaking down the different sizes, whether you get regular or large. I did see somebody comment on my video before and said that regular is the only size available. It's not. If you go into Ray-Ban's website, you will see that regular will probably be the only size on that website. And it's because whenever large does get updated and added, it's random times and it's first come first serve. So if they add a large variant on that website, Within an hour, it's going to be sold out. And you can only get regular. So, if you do order from Meta.com, you don't have to worry about that size. You can get whatever size you want. Problem is, you can't get it, you know, with the prescription. You have to go through Ray-Ban to get prescription. Other lens companies also offer often options when it comes to the lenses. When it comes to actually getting the, the, the um, glasses but not when it comes to getting prescriptions. You want prescription, you have to go through Ray-Bans, which it sucks, but it is what it is. You could try to buy the regular glasses and then go to like, you know, an eye doctor or a local uh, glasses place. Based on my experience, they don't work with it. They, they refuse to work with the Ray-Bans because they don't want to break them and they don't know like, there's a whole entire big issue with that. But with that being said, though, again, like I said, I still say they're a 10 out of 10. My only issues with them is probably personal experience, again, with the sweating of my nose. But outside of that, yeah, the battery life does drain quickly, depending on what you're using it for. But it's not one of those situations where I say these are going to change your life. But it's just, it, is that convenience of not having to have headphones that I think I love so much about them? Because it's just, again, just literally tap a button, plays your audio, tap a button, mutes it, slide your finger, turn volume up or down. You also have Meta built in, which you can ask Meta anything. So you could be like, hey, what's the weather like? She'll tell you, or he'll tell you, depending on what voice you have selected. And... Yeah, and then you could say, you could all say, what's in front of me? And they'll look at what's in front of you and tell you exactly what's in front of you, which you might think is stupid, but if you're at a store, for, for example, and you see an item and you're like, hey, what's that item, right? And maybe it's on display and doesn't have a name for it. It will tell you exactly what it is. So there's stuff like that, that a little bit is a gimmicks. Yes, like the meta features, but for the listening and for music, it's amazing. And again, I got rid of all my AirPods, got rid of all my headphones because it has beautiful audio. So it's a very unique device, but in my opinion, one of the best devices. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions.